Okay. Hmm. Time to unleash Johnny. That sounds kind of dirty. <laughs> Oh, this is another doctor, and he's got a with a machete. That seems somewhat appropriate. Doctor Machete sounds like a, a kind of like a bad supervillain. I mean, bad is in like... bad is in not well thought out, not bad as in morally bad. Although if he's a super evil, villain, he's in... although if he's a supervillain, then he is that as well. I would assume. Okay, these things, as you may recall, give you more, give you a bonus to your magic power when you stand on them. Hmm. Now, to roast this man alive. Oh! I had a 92% hit chance and I blew it. Not a roasting, but... He's, he's hurt pretty bad, though. Yeah. There we go! Nice. The doctor is out! <laughs> oh, not a grenade again? Oh, no! Oh, he took, he's got a hell of a whack on that big guy. Okay. Oh yeah, he's getting the shit beat out of him. Although he's like a huge, he's huge, he's like a troll or something, so he's probably got a lot of hit points. Hmm. It makes me wonder, actually, if your squad person dies, can you take the money that you paid off of their corpse? <laughs> That's a good question! Or were they too smart for that? I don't know, I... They probably didn't. They probably don't carry the cash around on on them in the mission. I I think. Right. But I mean, like they must have the data stick. That's true. Although maybe, although I don't know, maybe it's like uh, there's some sort of authorization code you need to access it. Yeah, perhaps. Oh, there's something in this in this desk over here. By all means, come. You have proven yourself a truly fine specimen. I can think of a hundred uses for one such as you. The Trivid video player holds a collection of personal diaries. Some of the video files are missing. We can insert and play it. Well, we can, we can stop for a movie break while the battle rages, Nick. Excellent. Okay, luckily, watching, watching TV is a free action, I guess. So, Let's see. Playback Tridio 6, number 6. Doctor, ooh, Dr. Holmes. I was walking to the organ grinders downtown, and there was some kind of event happening at Mega Media. They had a puppet there from Maria Mercurial's label, she's like a pop star, label, with a Persona Fix chip installed, making her an exact doppelganger. They were just using her to hawk some SimSense re-release of a Mercurial live show, but it gave me an idea. Okay, yeah, Persona Fix chip, it's like, it's like sort of like a recording of a person's like personality that like, you like plug it into yourself and like you act like them, basically. Hmm. It's kind of an, like another, like kind of another extension of the same technology that like better than life chips come from. And the the cutouts, the body modifications, and my healthy supply of patience. I'm perfectly set up to be a Bunraku fixer. If I can find a supplier for Persona fix chips, I can sell full service Bunraku, even program the behavior trees. Bunra what? All right, for a bit of context. A um, a Bunraku is a uh, it's actually a type of like Japanese puppet or puppet show. But uh -huh. in the Shadowrun universe, it refers to like people who have been programmed to be like automata. Uh. You know, and you know, hence you know the so, comparison to, to puppets. Yeah. 
So remember what he was saying about getting the persona chips and like programming behavior trees? You could like get people yeah. who are just like flesh and blood robots essentially. Control their minds. Huh. Hold on. Playback tr playback Trideo eight. Found a buyer for the first Bunraku. A man in the Barons offered me twenty thousand Nuyen for the female troll I've been modifying. He likes them big, he says. All that's left is to arrange delivery. He says he can put me in touch with some more buyers if I'll accommodate special orders. These morons' lives are over already anyway. The least they could do is line my pockets. Okay. Insert and playback. Insert and playback. Trideo one. Got some cutout chips in, in last week. Tried them out on the patients with violent flashbacks, hoping it would at least mellow them out some. It was like night and day. Once the chip was installed, all of their psychotic break triggers were blocked. Ms. Yuskin has gone four days without attacking the staff or herself. Video 3. Mm -hmm. In today's interview, Ms. Yuskin told me she hated her legs. Said they were stumpy, unattractive. I haven't done a transplant in years, but I offered to give her new legs. Her face lit up like it was Christmas. At least her cutout can block out the surgery and painful recovery process. Put in, I put in an order to the organ grinders to send me anything leggy. Maybe I'll get some elf legs and see how she likes them. Good lord. Mm. Well, that's 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 what's been going on here. Ooh, out of it. Ooh, he's empty. Load. Mm. This is back a ways, isn't it? What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Never mind. make a run for the elevator. Although it's kind of, it's depressing to think that all that effort and damage I took not hurting any of the patients might go to, they're just going to attack, just attacking each other. Well, yeah. nothing I can do about it. The Emerald City Ripper. Before you is a medical lab turned torture chamber. The smell of old blood and decayed flesh permeates the room. Gory stains speak of the body's fluid spilled without regard for well-being or hygiene. Their bodies, probably former patients, trapped in hideous machines, enduring horrific experiments. The subjects you can see all appear dead. Any that aren't must wish, any that aren't must wish they were. You've chased Holmes to his lair. Just as his face reveals an ugly soul, so does his safe haven, it would seem. Holmes, Silas, the Emerald City Ripper. The elf is a monster beyond compare. It's time to end this. Hmm. New objective, defeat Dr. Holmes. Hmm. All right, before I burst through that door there, Gonna do some. Heat. See if, whoops! I shouldn't have gone that far forward. I guess. Another intercom crackles at your elbow. One solid blow would offer a few moments of blessed silence, but there's also a rare chance you get a word in on the good doctor, who greets with more of his chittering laughter. You are a persistent <laughs> one, a fine specimen indeed. We already know how this ends. 
Let's get to it already. Patience, patience. We're not done here yet. I have one last examination to conduct. Patezel! Subdue them! I don't like the sound of that. Mm. Wait, did I seriously not bring anyone who has healing spells? Apparently so. I am a stupid, stupid man. I thought Shannon did. Uh, no, she's got all that haste and whatnot, but... Uh. Speaking of which... Flandry's gonna put himself back together a bit. Hmm. Alright, ten hit points. Alright. And some armor. Oh, this guy's got a med kit too, might as well get to use it. Hmm. On Flandry, of course. Yeah. Ooh, heal. Thir Do you have enough med kits? What's that? Do you have enough med kits? Yeah, and also it was the Shadow Runners, not mine, and those are like they bring their own, I think, so. Uh oh. Surgeon, hired mage. Alright. You take. Alright, you take point, Johnny. Oh, Patezel! Hey, oh! Remember when we were at the warehouse and they said the elf was accompanied by a troll who had a lot of cyberware? Yeah. Maybe this is him. Oh. Hired mage. Interesting decor. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> oh, he gave aim Patezel some aim. Oh, there's a spirit summoning majig. Oh, which I don't have enough AP to reach and activate in one turn. Damn it. Oh. Now, to set somebody on fire. Hmm. Nah, line of sight. Actually, in that case, let's see if I can lower powers. See if I can just power bolt this guy. Oh, critical. Okay. Man, for such a big guy, Patizzle's surprisingly hard to hit. Oh, well, that's the end of the surgeon. I think we're gonna have Flandry go over this a ways where he's not in immediate melee range. Shannon, you can head over this way. 